Good morning, this is Gabriel Varga. Um, I would like to just have a short video along with my uh, send out this morning with my Bible verse, uh, 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Oh, that's the only thing uh, we must do. There are so many people, I think, that have a false idea of what it takes to be saved. They think church membership or confirmation or baptism or good works or, or whatever uh, because of the family they were born into. But the Bible says there's only one way that we can be saved, and that's through the blood of Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection. Have you ever had a time in your life when you have actually uh, accepted Christ and there's been a transformation. You've been quickened. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. There must be a conversion experience. There must be a born-again time. It's not a joining the church thing. It's the biggest thing in your life. It's, it's the most important thing that's ever happened to you. Uh, you've got to have that in order to be saved. It has to be life-changing. Don't take anything less than that. Uh, Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. God comes to live within you. You become a child of God. You join the family of God. That's what happens when you're truly born again. You need to examine yourself. Have you had that? You might have been in church since you were little. You might have been a good boy and, uh, and a good church member, but examine yourself whether you've been born again. The Bible says you must be born again. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith, lest you be a reprobate, someone that really isn't saved. Please, dear one, please examine yourselves. God bless you.